Hi guys, welcome to Linkstar YouTube channel. My name is Ram Mishra and I am your online instructor. So what's in this video? In this video, I will tell you about Jenkins CLI tool. So guys, let's begin the topic. But before start the last session, we have to understand few points, which is what is Jenkins CLI tools and its use cases. So Jenkins has a built-in command line interface that allows you to access Jenkins from a script or from a shell. This is a convenient for automation of routine tasks, bulk updates, trouble diagnosis, and so on. This interface is accessed by, uh, by via the Jenkins CLI client, which is Java jar file distributed with Jenkins. So in this demo, I will demonstrate you how you can configure and use Jenkins CLI tool. So let's begin the lab session. As you can see, this is my, this is, uh, my, my virtual machine in Vimber workstation and currently I'm using RHEL 9. So first of all, let me show you the OS release version of this machine. This is 9.2 and let me check the IP address of this machine. The IP address is 192.168.229.134. I have already installed Jenkins on this Linux box. If you don't know how to install Jenkins, please go to my previous video where I have mentioned how you can install Jenkins in the Jenkins playlist. So let me take the web console access of my Jenkins dashboard from my web browser and we'll start our project. So I am on my web browser. Let me log in with user and password. Okay, so here I'm logging with my credential and this is my Jenkins dashboard. But before directly jump, uh, jump into the Jenkins CLI tool, let's create a simple freestyle project on which we can perform some Jenkins CLI tool based operation like job list, build job, restart or delete project from the shell. So start with the first step, which is make simple freestyle project. So I'll click on the create job, give the name, I'll go with the demo project or demo is good. I'll go with the freestyle project, select it, okay. And then we need to give the nice description, say this is demo project. Scroll down, I'll make it very simple for build step, go to the execute shell and say echo, echo, uh, execution time, build, build, job, execution time is dollar date and want to read that output in uh, demo.txt file, right? Let it be saved and quit from here. So I'm again back on my dashboard. So now you can see my first job is ready and till now it's not built, no last success. We will, no last success status is here, no last failure and last creation time. So we will trigger this one from Jenkins CLI tool. So now move to the next step, which is install and configure Jenkins CLI tool. So for that one, what I need to do, I need to go on manage Jenkins and scroll down here. You can find out Jenkins CLI. Right, so Jenkins CLI is the option. That means we can access manage Jenkins from our shell or from our script. So I, if I open that one, you can see here is a command line available for getting help from CLI access. And documentation is also there, see documentation and about Jenkins CLI tool. And for more information, we can refer this one. So for get start working with the Jenkins CLI tool, First, we need to download this file. So they have clearly mentioned download Jenkins CLI jar and run it as follow. So this is the URL, right? So let it be click and download this one. So it's successfully downloaded. Let me go to the folder. So it is in my download folder. Show in the folder. Yeah, it is there. So now uh, uh, it's successfully downloaded in my download folder. Let's move to the, uh, let me take the access session from my Linux machine here using git bash utility. So let me open the git bash first. So I'll open the git bash. Let me make uh, make it full size. Okay, so here you can see that Jenkins hyphen CLI.jar file is there. So uh, let me copy this jar file from download folder to Linux box using SCP command. So I'll go with SCP Jenkins and root at the rate 192.168.229.229.134 semicolon, give the password root. So I'll give the password and yup, see it successfully moved from download folder to root folder slash root folder in Linux box. Let me log in and check using SSH command. So just take the SSH of this machine, SSH and give the password, 
yep i'm logging on server one and alas here's the jenkins session so i got jar file so here you can see uh, i got the jenkins jar file let's back to the jenkins dashboard so i'm back on the dashboard again let it be removed from here i don't require this tab i'm in the jenkins dashboard right so let me go to the jenkins cli and here you can see available commands list are there and number commands are there right uh, so if i scroll down like who am i let's take the example with who am i start with the who am i so uh, if i try to open this one the options the command complete command url is mentioned as well as the the things what what the, what this command will go to do inside your jenkins cli they have clearly mentioned so it's report your credentials and permissions right so let's try to run it and we'll see the result let me copy the entire path from here this is the url where my jenkins installed and let me copy and paste press the enter say authenticated as anonymous so this command will report my credentials so currently you can see that i am currently logged in authenticated as anonymous user with respect to privilege because it's anonymous right so let's try to run the help command suppose i want to go with the help command so i'll go back again if i go to the top help command is this one right so we need to just change every time from here this will be the same at normal all of the all of the commands so i'll go with the help so if i go with the help let's see what happened url help once i press enter oops i got error you can see that you must authenticate to access the jenkins right so so for proper authentication privileges we will use hyphen auth user secret and specify username and the password or we can go with the tokens also or we can read the documentation for more information so let's give the username and password so how i can do that i can go with hyphen uh, auth auth admin admin user password admin is my user and red is my password right and then then go with who am i yeah see now i'm authenticated with admin and let's check the help should work now perfect it's working so now it's working so currently you can see i'm authenticated as the root account so if we want to perform any operation using given url we need to pass the username and the password but now my requirement is that i don't give the password here it's, it's clearly mentioned here what is the password of my admin account am i right i don't want to give that one so i can also pass api token in place of password this is the good for the security context so let's generate the token access for further uh, for further administration tasks so let me go back on admin here click on the config go to the api section here you can see we can generate the token from here right so if api tokens offer a way to make authenticated cli or rest api call so we can generate it from here add new token generate let it be copied it's very important right they have clearly mentioned copy this token because it cannot be recovered in the future so let me open the notepad copy and paste and save and click from here so now let's go back one more time on manage jenkins and inside the jenkins cli so i have successfully generated the token right now move to the next step perform some operational tasks from jenkins cli too so let's go with the first uh, let me go for the let me go with the first of all uh, list job okay list all job in specify view of item the item pro so here's the entire command i need to copy and paste list job and uh, this does what list all job in the specify view or item list right so let me copy the entire path one more time go with the url and let's right click and paste so list job i need to modify the entire thing here first of all i need to give the hyphen auth then username admin colon the password is now this is token in my case paste and then list job list jobs press enter yep now you can see the demo job is there so in my case uh, in my case if i go back on the dashboard so let me go back here so you can see that demo job is there am i right now you can see one uh, one demo job is there we can we can build this one so for building the command would be uh, only replace this job go with the build b u i l d and the job name that's demo so now successfully build let it be twice i'll go one more time so now let's check from the dashboard this time build success rate should be 2 
So I'm here. Let it be reload. Currently is nothing. Let it be reload. See, two successes there. So this is how we can build our job using build command, right? And uh, even we can check the console output from the Jenkins CLI tool also. Let it, let's build one more time with the console output. So command would be the same, only what we will use hyphen S hyphen V for the verbosity. So now press enter, see, started demo three, and we can see the output in, in, in here in the terminal, right? So we can see the third bit console output. Let me, let me go a few more examples. Suppose you want to know about particular command help. Suppose I don't know the, about all options related to the, this build command. So what I will do, I will use first of all help and then the command help and build, right? So if you execute this command, it will give you more information about the particular command, right? Let's take, suppose you want to install some plugin using CLI tool, then we will go with install plugin command. We have another command install plugin. Let me show you list plugins there to get the all available plugins. Similarly, install plugin. Yep, it is there. So entire URL, install plugin and the plugin name, whatever the plugin. So let me install uh, Terraform. Okay. So how can I install the Terraform? Uh, remove that one. And now I will go with install plugin plugin T E double -R, R A Terra F O R M Terraform. So installing Terraform from Upgrade Center. So whatever the latest version is there, it will be automatically uh, install it in my Jenkins machine or my Jenkins server. Even we can mention the Terraform colon and the complete version also, right? So it will take some time. Let it be complete. Yep, successfully done. Not successfully installed. Now we need to restart the Jenkins to take this effect. So command would be the same. Just remove the entire last command and mention save restart. Press enter. So save restart. Save restart puts Jenkins into the quick mode and wait for existing builds to be complete and then restart the Jenkins, right? So if I go back on the dashboard again, I need to let it be close. I need to log in again. Let it be checked. Currently it's restarting, right? Yep, starting Jenkins, you can see that. Please wait while Jenkins is getting start ready to work. Okay, so let it be complete. I'm logging with admin, give the password. Even I can check the install, uh, install plugin Terraform from the uh, from the GUI based console as well as the graphic as well as command based console also. So you can go for the manage Jenkins for the graphical point of view. You can go with the manage Jenkins and here you will find out install plugins. You can go with the plugins and you can check it from here also whatever the plugins is installed or what you want to remove or what you want to update, right? So you can check it from here also. Even if you want to check the, uh, in, uh, if you want to list install plugin using Jenkins CLI tool, then the command would be list plugins. Let me show you. So this time the command will be list plugins list plugins. Now you can see, okay, all available plugin. And here's the Terraform plugin, right? So now you can see at the end, Terraform plugin is available. Suppose you want to delete the entire project, then, then we can go with the delete job command. So currently you can see that if I go with the dashboard, here the one uh, demo job is there. Now suppose you want to remove that one. Then what you will do, you will use D-E-L-E-T-E, -E -E, delete, delete jobs, jobs, and job, and the job name is demo. That's it. Now it's successfully removed. Let's go back on the dashboard. And now if I reload, you can see it's gone. So guys, this is how you can perform n number of administrative tasks using Jenkins CLI tool. So everything is mentioned here. You can go over there inside manage Jenkins, Jenkins CLI, generate the token and all available commands are there with all of the options. So you can create the job, you can copy the job, everything, add the job to view so you can Read the, read the entire command and just pass it from the shell, it will execute. So guys, this is how you can perform a number of administrative tasks. And that's all about this demo. Oh, uh, finally, it's the end of this topic. Hopefully you enjoyed the new, learn new things. Soon I will come up with another new interesting topic. Till then keep practicing. If you feel something I have missed or you wanted to know more something else, please reach out to me through my social media links, which is mentioned in the description. If you like this video, please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and goodbye.